Hey everybody, this is mid-August and we're going to be looking at some salmon today. Spawning salmon that is. The summer rational salmon have been running through the Veda River, the Chilliwack River in the last few weeks and uh, we are up here at the hatchery right now with my family and uh, there are lots of them in the fishway. They've been making their way up this river in the last few weeks like I said and uh, just like the previous two years the returns have been exceptionally big. So let's take a look at them and we're going to be chatting with Alex from the hatchery and talk a little bit about the background of these fish. So let's go! All right, let's do this real quickly. Um, I'm with Alex, who's the operation manager at the River Hatchery, right? Yep, that's right. And uh, yeah, you probably have seen him in the past video when we did back in the fall, when we talked about coho and white Chinook salmon. But today we're gonna be talking about summer red Chinook salmon. That's right, yeah. It's a pretty unique stock and it's not native to this river, right? Right, it was introduced in the mid 80s as a transplant down from Slim Creek. Okay, so it's a it's an interior Fraser it is. Chinook salmon strain, and uh, what what was the purpose of that? It was initially introduced to uh, provide a, a sport fishery on the Chilliwack hatchery, so it has okay. a, a harvest mandate. Yeah, and it certainly has worked. So it has. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, today we're seeing thousands of them coming back to the fishway. The fish that I missed, that I went out and fished, and uh, I couldn't couldn't catch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, these fish are just kind of waiting over here and uh, they, I guess they're going to be spawning. When do they usually spawn? So uh, we start our egg takes um, at the end of August and we usually do two egg takes. It takes us about 160 pairs to uh, make our egg take target which is 500,000. Okay. Um, and so we don't need all of these. We only get yeah. uh, only need only a fraction of, only a right? fraction of yeah. them. But <clears throat> we'll start Right now we have this set up just so that they have a safe space mm -hmm. to uh, sort of uh, to relax, relax before yeah. they get spawned at the end of August. Right. Um, and in a few weeks or a couple weeks, we'll open up our fishway and let them move into the trap, and then um, yeah, we'll sort through the sort through them and get our males and females. Yeah. So you only need a, like I said, you only need a few hundred fish to, right. for spawning. Um, are you being pretty selective on the sizes and what, what you pick? No, it's it's completely unbiased. It's, uh, we we go for, I mean, we, we select based on if, if a female doesn't look right or if there's uh, something that uh, looks off, we don't use those eggs. We try and select the, the best gametes or the eggs or, and, and milk that we can. Okay, yeah. And 500,000, uh, 500,000, that's the target, right? Sorry, that, that's oh. our release target. That's a release target, I was going to say. Yeah. Yes. So, you're, you're, so, so our egg take target is actually 550,000. Okay, so there's a bit of mortality involved from yeah. egg to fry. Is it fry you're releasing? Uh, these guys are released as, yeah, uh, as fry. They, the release size is six to eight grams. Okay, it's very tiny. Yeah, very small. Yeah. And um, that'll happen. And usually it's... Uh, the first or second week in the following May. So okay, yeah. So, so they're only at the hatchery for five months. That's right, like yeah. That. yeah. So the, the spawn timing is a little earlier than the other species that are coming here, right? That's so right. like the full white Chinook salmon, the coho salmon. Okay, yeah. Do these fish spawn in the wild, do you think? Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, we anything that uh, we don't end up using, we do chase out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not actually sure what happens in the in the main stem yeah um that would be a good question for uh one of our biologists yeah yeah i think one, one of the one of the this is something that came up in discussion with uh, other colleagues as well so these fish are not native in this system so the the, the interior interior phrase of tributary chinook salmon um so i guess the spawn timing is a little different they, they're not necessarily adapting to the environment down here right so maybe the spawning success in the wild is not as good in this area right? that has definitely been yeah feedback that there's yeah. definitely uh certain uh 
factors that limit how well they survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and because you're releasing consistent number of um, fish every year, um, I guess the, the the return should be pretty consistent too, isn't it? It, it has been fairly yeah. consistent, other than uh, the last couple of years or last few years, but. Uh, there's obviously been a, a number of different closures that yeah. uh, may be the result of it. So yeah, yeah. So it could be a combination of ocean conditions and uh, fishing closures in the salt water. Um, but if I recall correctly, last year and the year before, the return had been in the well, the return up to into the hatchery after all the fish have been caught by anglers and all that. It's about two to three thousand fish. Yeah, the last couple of years, I would say we we've had about uh, two thousand fish returning. Yeah, to the hatchery. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there isn't really a conservation concern. It's, in no. this case, it's not really a conservation concern. So people can go out and enjoy catching them and keeping them, and they're really great for eating. They are. They're yeah. delicious fish. Yeah. Um, because I guess um, in being interior Fraser fish, um, these fish are built to design to um, I guess built to migrate much further upstream, so they retain quite a bit of fat by the time they get here. Don't they? They, yeah, and yeah. they have that nice, uh, lovely red flesh that a lot of uh, people are in enjoy eating. Yeah. Versus yeah. Our, our fall or white chinook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have are there any plans on increasing our production beyond that half million fish? Uh, not as of yet, no. no. Yeah. Well, speaking of greeting, I mean, you have so many, and maybe I should take a few home. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it were that easy. <laughs> yeah, that right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, you yeah. know, always taking the time to explain all this. Um, I, I know the hatchery is doing great work. It's providing great angling opportunities for the Fraser Valley, and uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, thanks for coming up and taking some shots and showing uh, people how many fish they missed. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much.